love isn't here, I guess I'll just continue on what I was going to say. It, uh, Romero, if you want to come up here and accept uh, Domingo's award. Uh, <laughs> thank Domingo for all the work he's done. Um, and, you know, he's one of those names that should go in the, the history books of Dallas for equality. Uh, really making sure that people had fair representation and, you know, there's not much more I can just say about but thank him for his service and thank you for being here today. And any words? Uh, on behalf of the Mio Garcia, he would love to be here, but um, well, fortunately for us, just continuing the good fight in Austin as he's fighting uh, to make sure that the voter uh, ID bill doesn't get uh, doesn't go forward as he's fighting to make sure that it detects us redistricting our community is adequately represented. I, uh, I'm very graciously accepting this award for him. Uh, as a mentor, he has definitely took me under his wing, and I appreciate the work that he has done for the immigrant community. Uh, he took me in at a point where I wasn't even allowed to uh, have a job based on my immigration status. Fortunately, that has been, is getting fixed, but he does things of that nature. He goes out of his way to make sure that he fights for those who don't have a voice, to make sure that he uh, that he works that our, so that our community is adequately represented. Right now, we have an initiative to register 25,000 voters, uh, preferably in the Dallas community, the minority community, to make sure that whenever it comes to elections, we, take, we get taken into account. So I uh, look forward to seeing you in our community as we register voters in your community. Thank you. Okay, our next award recipient is uh, is one of the pastors in the community right here, just right across the street, uh, Concord Church. Uh, Pastor Brian Carter, he's done a lot with our office and he's done a lot in the community and we can't thank him enough for his service. Um, he's a very busy man and uh, he's off uh, doing hard work today, but he has sent uh, Reverend Michael Green of yeah. Concord here today. Thank you. I'm Candy Bradshaw, Executive Director of Harmony Community Development Corporation, which is a community nonprofit established by Concord Church. And I'm really excited to present this award to our senior pastor, Brian Carter, as Reverend Green stands in his place. Uh, Concord is a pillar of this community, and the thing there is we grow people. And as a result of growing people, that means we grow communities. Because if the people grow, the community will grow. Um, pastor Carter has done some things over this past year that have uh, been very significant and impactful to the community. He has uh, distributed a thousand, or through the membership of Concord, a thousand Thanksgiving baskets um, this past year for Thanksgiving. <laughs> In addition to our food pantry side, we have distributed food to over a thousand families, giving them at least uh, 60 pounds of food wow. when they come and visit. Concord has also invested in men and women, young adults, youth, and children very intentionally. And what that means is that as these individuals are held accountable, that means that they can impact the community in a much more powerful way. So it is with enthusiasm and excitement, and you have to remember Concord that I present this MLK Drum Major Award. Pastor Carter is sad that he is not here to accept this award, this prestigious award. He sends his love as he is serving um, out of the city. Um, he is so honored and uh, so deserving of such an honor. Sometimes we don't honor people in our own community, but he lives in this community. He loves this community and he loves to serve. If he were here, I believe he would say and encourage all of you all to continue to do good things, because good things make the difference in people's lives. They put smiles on their faces. They make us feel good as we smile. But then I think he would go further and say, commit to doing God things. 
versus good things. Because good things have a motive to make us feel good mm -hmm. and to make that person that person feel good temporarily. But when you present somebody with a God thing, you change their life forever. Right. And I think I am so honored and so privileged to serve a pastor who commits to doing God things versus good things. God bless you. Uh, and our next uh, drum major award recipient is Mr. Malik Hinzi, and he is uh, he is a small business owner of the Spot, and here to present his award is one of our earlier recipients, uh, Mr. Keith Hunter. On behalf of Malik, he's not here at this time, as you can see. I wish to present this to him, and I most uh, I would say that he would be greatly honored in this. This is a young man that has served the community well over 25 years in the retail business. He also has a uh, automotive service uh, adjacent from uh, Copper Hill and Westmoreland here, where he has uh, auto links. And this young man, I've come to him in times past when we are embarking up on Christmas and a lot of us fortunate kids don't have anything or any toys to play with. I can go to Malik and say, hey Malik, we need some footballs, we need this or we need that. And he would pull out some money and say, go get what you need. He has done that and he has donated that to our church. Even though it seems at times it's not of his faith, but his faith in uh, believing in the community that has served him over the 25 years, he still finds the time to give a little bit back here and there. And at this time, I want to receive this on behalf of Malik and the Spot, and he has Georgie Oldman's fashion, he has G2 uh, uh, School Apparel, as well as Auto Leaf. Thank you.